Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Angular Material with uh, Angular Full Stack Generator, the main Full Stack Generator. Um, so if you look at this, chances are you know about Angular, you know about main, which is MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node. And there's a generator, there's several generators, there's main.io, main.js, and then one of them that I've come to really like is one called Angular Full Stack full stack and so but by default that generator uses uh, bootstrap and bootstrap UI and what I want to show is how you can use angular material instead and so let's just jump right into it and for, for this prerequisite you need to have your environment set up to use Yeoman, Bower, of course node running um, if you don't have those things look at my other videos I'm gonna post some videos on how to set up install you know node and npm and yo and uh, also mongo you don't need mongo for this tutorial to work but i'm going to do it with uh actually i'll do it with, without mongo just to show that you don't need mongo but uh, i'll also post a video showing how you can use mongo all right so here we go let's get started to it so i'm create a directory i'm gonna call it angular material i'm gonna cd into that directory after i create it and so just verify there's nothing in there, so no tricks up on my sleeve. And then I'm gonna do yo angular full stack. And this is gonna run a full stack generator. And I'm gonna say yes, use JavaScript. Um, I don't care about that. HTML is fine. Uh, you could use any one of those you want, but I just use uh, less there. Um, do you wanna use bootstrap? Sure, because uh, I'm going to show it. So even with Bootstrap installed, is not a problem. Um, we're going to say don't do this without. Uh, let's create stuff without um, MongoDB. So we're going to say no, and then that's it. So we could go ahead and use Bootstrap, but uh, MongoDB. Sorry, but we're going to do do a simple example without using uh, Bootstrap, and nothing is going to change in terms of how you set up this versus when you have mongo like have no effect whatsoever so it's just better to simplify it for those people who don't have mongo installed and who don't want to use mongo so i always wait for this to continue in the meantime what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here go to google and i'm going to go a-n-g-u-l-e-r material and then you can see it's already at the angular material website i visited previously and so i'm going to click on getting started and i'm say using bower because that's one of the things that our, um, you know, development setup here is using dev environment is using, you know, the whole node package management and Bower for client side library management, right? Yeah. So if any of this sounds a little foreign to you, then uh, maybe you have to spend some time looking at npm and node and that sort of stuff first. But there you go. And um, let's actually look, we'll see that it says Bower install Angular Material. So let me just copy that. Okay, and we'll wait till this finish. It should finish pretty soon. That, that, that. And just uh, kind of heads up while we're waiting for this of what I'm going to do is, oh, it's finished. Ah, let's just do it. So first thing I'm going to do is do git init. Um, I like doing that. Uh, if I do git add, this is going to fail. Uh, this will fail because they say that, oh, that file you know, contains a uh, car return line feed, which is typical of Windows system. And, you know, uh, my configuration set up on Mono Mac, but I set up my Git config so that um, it really just want to check in files with, you know, Unix line ending. But I could fix that very easily. And we'll go to that git slash config if you run into this problem. If you don't run into it, then you can ignore this part. It says save car return line feed equals false. And for this particular project, now I can go back and do git add, and then that's no problem. I say git commit message I want to give, since I already added my stuff, is initial check-in. That's always, I've been doing that for many years, but all right. So now that's there, and I get, you know, get SD, it should status, you know. I just have um, alias for these things, but yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, good. So one of the other things we want to do is grunt serve. So... Let's just run what we've created and see what happens. So, so far I just created the application and then I run it and there you go. 
there it is, all right? Um, it's working fine, right? Um, so now I'm gonna open this application and, oh, I'm gonna use, um, open this now in my WebStorm. You can use any editor you like. And so there, it's open and bam. I can go to client, I can go to app, I can go to main and the HTML file, I can open that and I can say, you know, I don't know, whatever. Um, take this out and say, hello world. And then if I save changes, you can see it refresh and that updates. So we know that works. All right, so one of the things now is how do we install full stack? So you come back here, you stop this. That's kind of not terribly important, but it saves you some work if you do this. I'm going to paste what I copied over there. So, borrow install. So, borrow install. I'm going to do minus minus save. And that's going to install Angular Material and its dependencies. So, even though I actually install Angular Material, one of the dependencies is Angular and Mate, Aria, and those, those are the two dependencies. And so I've added, by putting my dash dash save at the end, what I've done is essentially added it to my Bower JSON file, All right? Instead of me having to type it, you can see the difference was it had Angular UI there, and then now we put a comma after it, and then added Angular material to it inside of my client side dependency, which is being managed by Bower.json. So that's what that did for me. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually rerun Gruntsur. And what happens, which is really, really cool, is here in my index.html file, something very cool. Look at this. Uh, you can see from what WebStorm is telling me is that this file was changed on this line 16. It might be subtitled line for you. And here it was changed, well, it actually really only changed uh, added these three lines, but it showed I give that a lot many more changes. But what it did, what it added was Angular Animate, which we saw as a dependency, Angular Aria, and then it installed the Angular JS. So I did not have to come and modify the file. And that's why you see me, you saw me stopped it earlier, did the installation and then restart it because I wanted it to do this work for me. Pretty lazy, right? But it's one of the last thing for you to do. If you go to the Angular Material website, they would show you you know, that you have to do this eventually in your file, but if um, in full stack you can get it done for you, why well, go do it? So, okay, so that's working. So what we can do is actually commit, uh, that we can say git st to look at see what's changed, and we see, you know, our main index file change only because I would made that change, you know, before uh, we change that to hello world, I could undo that. And then if I go back here and then do st, we should see only three files change, which is the Bower because we added that library, and then app list because you know it's no linking in um, the Angular stuff and index that HTML because it had those three changes I told you about. I showed you. So let's just say git commit minus m, and we're gonna say install Angular JS material library. Okay. All right, so that's that's done. All right. Ah, I didn't like something. What did I not think? Uh, oh, uh, I didn't add. I didn't tell Git what I wanted to commit. So I'm gonna say I can do it in two steps. I'll say Git add all the files that are here to that I could check in, and then bam, I committed those three files. All right. So that's I'm doing. You know, all the Git stuff, but that's not really. I could close this. Oh well, no, I need that back. All right. So now that's done, there's only one other, there's a couple other things you have to do. One is go here, and we have to say that our, our application depends on ng animate, and our application also depends on ng material, right? So the two things, we really want ng material, but ng material depends on the module ng animate. So we have to tell our app, say that our application depends on that. That's it. Then we go to our um, HTML file and we can start um, putting some stuff in. So let's just do just that. I'm going to bring this in the front so we can see it. You know, these two are going to refresh anyway. So uh, let's close this a little bit. And so we go to ng material website, go back. 
and we can look at directives and one of the directives easiest directives to use is the button directive so let's copy these first three or so directives here with uh, you know examples I'm not going to use this one because I don't have an SVG icon and I'm going to create a div container to put it in but you can do it whatever in whatever you want and I'm going to say div class row excuse me oh man excuse me uh, alright so there we go and now when I go back and look at this page it's going to refresh and there are my buttons right flat button flat link raise button disable and if I click on this you can see the material effect and if I click on this it goes to Google so that totally works there's the flat button that goes to Google now let's try something um, a little bit more sophisticated than button let's try for example the input right and so let's go down to the input and then inputs when you use inputs you must have it inside the input container only if the input is a text or area okay text area so only those two needs to be in an input container so I'll copy those and paste those and so I have this input called color it's bounded to this um, model called color and I could go somewhere else and actually use that so I can say this is the color and I'm going to reference that same uh, model layer or variable if you like and now I'm going to go back to my application and we're going to see if there we go there's the effect so there's where the Angie and animate comes in we could see it to this button this input says required so now this is red because there's a maximum of 10 characters allowed but it, there's a required input so I have to type at least something I could type one there and then there we go it's no longer red I could type two three four five six seven eight nine zero and that's still red if I type one more thing there we go it's past um, the max length so this is working fine and notice as I type here the changes are up there which is you know right there that I put in just before the flat button so this is working and you can do this you know go ahead and use all the other um, ng you know um, component um, that are listed there slider or whatever right so uh, so there you go so let's try the slider so do copy and I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna paste it and then I'll go back to my page and there's the slider control right and if I wanted to I could have bounded the slider to the color so I'll call it color and so I'll remove this from here since you're going to see the color being set whatever is in the slider being set here in the thing and there we go bam, 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 bam. my slider value showing up here in color All right. so have fun thank you for your time and uh, goodbye uh, if you have questions post it and I'll try and see if I can answer it um, I'm learning this myself so uh, I'll show in another video how you can remove the ng ui the bootstrap ui library uh, without affecting this so right now they're both there and it seems to work fine but just in case you wanted to remove it after you add it i can show that or the other thing you can do is when you build your project simply say don't install you know bootstrap ui that's the other way all right because uh, ng material angular material also come with layout components which you can find if you go here and you click on layout, it'll, you know, grid system and alignment and all this other stuff. So, same kind of layout sort of thing, but slightly different than bootstrap. But either way. All right. Thanks.